Sup everyone. Today's video will be a bit different. Instead of the usual one hit gameplay videos that I do. This video will be about how to counter your opponents with the right items and when to build them. I'm sure y'all know how the items work. Also this is from my personal opinions and experience. So do correct me in the comments if I were wrong on some parts. Anyways, let's get right into the video. 1. The Laning Phase Let's talk about the EXP lane first. We all love playing the EXP lane heroes, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. Then we end up feeding the enemy constantly and get trash talked by our teammates. It's either because the enemy's hero completely counter yours, or they're just simply better and more experienced. Like this game for example. The enemy picked Alpha, and I picked Dyroth. Dyroth pretty much counters Alpha, so I already knew it was an easy lane win. And here's how I did it. First of all, don't buy boots yet. Instead, buy the leather jerkin and prioritize dominance ice. You don't need to worry about damage, since Dyroth's an early game hero. Which basically means, he's strong in the early stages and weaker in late. Additionally, the talents from the emblem should give you a damage boost, so you can buy defend items early. This alpha was pretty bad, but you won't always get an opponent like these of course. Also, don't forget to help your jungle take the turtle. You get a free shield and additional gold, so don't miss it. You can build Sea Halberd instead of Dominance Ice, but I wouldn't do it if my opponents were La Pula Puor. Yu Jong. It's better to build Antique Cuirass for those heroes, or just Dominance Ice paired with Warrior Boots. Also make sure to check whether your opponent deals magic or physical damage, so you can build the right boots to counter them, and items as well. See this clip here, I was not lucky. I only survived here because I built Dominance Ice and Warrior Boots. Same thing happened here. Okay maybe I was lucky here, but you get the point. As for heroes who are stronger in late and weaker in early. Just play passive, don't fight or engage unless your teammates are near. Build blade armor if the enemy's marksman hurts too much. The gold lane. One of the most important role in the game. Most people struggle on gold lane because of constant ganks and babysitting. But don't worry, you'll only experience this in mythic and above. Anyways, everyone knows the goal of a gold laner is to get as much gold as possible and as fast, and then destroy your enemies. It's not easy of course. You have to constantly deal with babysitters and junglers ganking you. So you have to be very cautious of your surroundings. And must keep your eye peeled on the mini-map. To avoid ganks and feeding the enemy. Being cautious and watching the mini-map doesn't apply only to gold laners, but other roles as well. For this game, I picked Clint. And the enemy picked Claude. Clint and Claude are equally strong, it's just that Clint is stronger at level 2. Now when playing gold lane, make sure to check their roamer's position in the early game. What the dog doing? Their roamer popped out of nowhere along with Nana here. But I had my flicker and escape. So next time, check their position to ensure no babysitting. Now for the counter build. If you feel like you are going to have a hard time against your opponent, then make sure to check their emblems. Make sure they aren't using tenacity before going one on one with them. Claude was using Tenacity here along with Warrior Boots. I only used Warrior Boots, so I fed him twice. Or maybe I just suck. Steel Leg Plates used to be a good item, 
I mean it still is but, after the price increase, it's not really worth getting unless, you're really struggling against your opponent. Adjusting your battle spell according to your enemy can also help win your opponent. Let's say you're using Bruno and you're against Brody. Using Inspire against Brody wouldn't work because of Brody's skill too. He'd stun you and run away, making you waste Inspire. Instead, use Aegis or Flicker. Way less risky. Build C Halberd if they have a healer or too many tanky heroes, and build Wind of Nature if they have burst heroes like Saber or Fanny. If you're in a long hard game, it is recommended to delete boots and buy an extra item. Also, you can prioritize items first, just like this claw did. Last but not least, the jungle. I'm tired of editing. Just build the items for the heroes who you think might kill you. 